think we were on the other side of this earlier. I remember seeing the stairs coming up. Your father would be proud of you. All right, can you hush about my dad already? I don't want to hear it. I'm gonna get rid of her as soon as I'm done with this mission. I don't care for her much. Ghoul dad is way better. There's a spork and a coffee mug. Okay. Oh, here's the door to the test labs. Engaging targets. Got you back. All right, thanks. I should have known there was an enemy that was going to jump out because I heard her uh, un unholster, unsheath her her shotgun. I heard the noise of her taking I've it off before. her back. You have not been here before. Stop saying you've been here before. I don't think you've been here before, lady. If you'd been here before, then you'd already have picked up the Gek and stuff. Activate test chamber one. Ah. What in the world? Chamber status check. Chamber offline. FEV reserves. FEV tanks depleted. Oh, I don't like the look of that thing. Do we want to go in there? Will we have to fight it? Is it going to get up off the table? Oh, it says failed FEV subject. Moving on. Well, we know that the mutants kidnap people and then try to turn them into more mutants. That's kind of their thing. Oh, this is barricaded. Guess we can't get in there. Punch you right away. Thank you. Ooh, recon armor helmet. Well, I've already got one of those. I'll take it for now. I can always drop it later. Chief Physician's Terminal. Let's see what the Chief Physician has to say. Dr. Wayne Merrick. The latest subjects in the Evolutionary Experimentation Program, oh, that's what the EEP stands for, okay, are showing some promise after only a single exposure to the modified FEV. We are currently testing five subjects, two males and three females. Each one of them is under 24 hour observation as usual. We hope to have a breakthrough in this strain as the continual pressure from vault tech and the military at Mariposa is becoming most bothersome. Incredible results. After only three days, subjects B440, B164, and D624, all our female specimens are all exhibiting a unique change. Their bodies are undergoing severe physical changes losing most of their visible female indicators and transforming to an almost asexual state. They are also seeing increased upper body strength and muscle formation in line with males. Similarly, subjects C376 and A541 are male specimens are losing most of their visible male indicators 
and taking on the same asexual state as the females. It seems that the FEV wishes to level the playing field and start with a clean slate as it works. We've had a minor setback. Subject B440, Mary Kilpatrick, is now deceased. According to my autopsy, she died of a massive loss of brain function and was unable to sustain her basic bodily needs. This is the usual pattern we see in all the FEV strains we test. The brains of the subjects becoming too damaged to support even the most basic human needs, eating, sleeping, etc. So far, all of their subjects are nominal and continue to exhibit physical changes. At 10 days, we are now noticing that the skin of all of our remaining test subjects is actually thickening and becoming more resilient. This seems to be the FEV bringing about some new adaptive change. This is the kind of result we were looking for. Adaptations that could prove useful in combat situations. I need to remember to congratulate Dr. Philo, Philo on his skin engineering. His coded instructions in this strain seem to be exactly what he expected. Once again, I've hit that damn wall. At 14 days, all of the test subjects began to exhibit severe bouts of rage and anxiety. So much so that they were a danger to my team and to this facility. I had no choice once again but to order them to be destroyed. It pains me every time we do this. The same cycle has been repeated in every strain we test. We always see superior physical adaptations, but the mental changes are their downfall. I think this is the way uh, we haven't been yet. Okay. I assume you're the blue dot, not the red dot. Okay. It can't be. Either you are quite real, and I am going quite mad. Could you actually be a pure human? Um. Yeah, I'm a human. Me? Care who I am? Yeah, who are you? Mm, forgive me. I, uh, I'm not used to pleasantries. I'm more used to grunts and being struck about by the others. My name's Fox. I've lived in this cage all my life. Why have you been imprisoned? Because I'm a curiosity. An anomaly! They don't know why I'm different than they are. And I think it fascinates them. All the locked rooms in the medical wing contain failed experiments that they created. Okay, if you've been here as long as I imagine, maybe you can help me. Perhaps. I assume you're here to find the Gek. I am. What do you know about the Gek? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Well, you sound like just the right guy then. Why would you help me? Because you can help me. Let me out of this place. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall how long I've been here. Take me with you and I'll retrieve the gag for you. The chamber in which the Gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Okay. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely in your hands. Okay. Uh, how do I get you out? At the end of the hallway, 
to your right is a maintenance room. Okay. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Heck yeah! Sure, Fox, you got a deal. Glad to see you are a sensible person. I now, try. Get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. Okay. Okay, I'll go do it. It is my hope that we will speak again soon. All right, say it. Don't spray it, man. Can't just get in here and open it up. It's got to be hospitality. Identify a specimen, unlock door, terminate specimen. Oh, we don't want to terminate him. Subject D624. Unlock door. <gasps> Lock error, call for service. Oh, denied. Alright, I guess we gotta go into the maintenance room. He said it was down to the right here. Oh, that's an isolation room. Who's in there? Oh. This is a coward's game! me damn it well they're locked in there come on out and let's fight face to face they're, they're not gonna come out they're locked in there calm down come on out and let's fight face to face come on out and let's fight face to face are you gonna keep repeating that oh Oh, shoot. How'd you get out here? Where? How'd they get out of there? Contact first. Backup requested. Where? Got a present for you. straight. Oh, there's another one in there. You're exhausting my patience. There we go. Subject A five four one. Let's see what happens if we terminate the specimen. Danger! Do not enter room. Area secured. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I can see the gas. See the ripples? Don't want to ignite that. Alright, watch out. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. You're going to get toasted. 
Who's in here? Oh, hi! Who are you? Can I talk to you? Hey! Who are you? Who's this guy? Unlock door. All right, let's let's. Enemy contact. What? Where? Targeted. Why did you sound Why'd the he... all clear? Why did you shoot him? Sid, what was your deal, Sid? Why is your hand up your butt, Sid? Sid. Oh, I bet he grabbed the Chinese rifle that was here on the ground and started shooting us with it. What the heck? Why did you shoot him? Was he crazy? Was he hostile? It didn't look like he was. He was a blue dot. Alright, well... We would have helped you, Sid. But you had to go all crazy on us. Here's the medical wing maintenance terminal that we need to use to help Fox escape. It's probably dangerous, so we'll go over here and we'll try that. Dangerous doesn't have any of the same letters in common as separated. There we go. It's a logic puzzle, basically. It's like the old game mastermind. Alright. Room one door emergency release. Room two door emergency release. I think we've already opened most of these rooms. We tried to open Fox's room, but it wouldn't work from the computer terminal. So we'll do it from this terminal. I think he's in room five. Explosive bolts deployed, door released. Okay. Let's see if that got him out of here. Hey there, big guy. Finally! Freedom! True freedom! Ha ha ha! I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. You've gained karma. Okay, is there anything useful in your room? No? Can I have a nap? No? Alright. Are we not going to search these rooms? Okay, alright. I don't want to lose him. Alright, we'll go with you. Nice boots, dude. I need some health. There we go.
Jeez, peace, Louise. All right, I will repair that one. And I will repair this one. That's what I've been saving all these Chinese assault rifles for. I was merciful. <laughs> this guy is awesome. Is this relevant to the mission? Uh, yeah. He's taking us to the geck, lady. Were you not paying attention? Oh, okay. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Okay. I'll be ready. You go, my dude. As promised, here's the geck. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. No, you're cool. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the the wasteland. Oh wait, where are you going? No, don't, don't leave. I kind of like having you around. <laughs> 